over again that what keeps us healthy is nurturing, which is oxytocin. And how do you get oxytocin? Hug everybody. It's the, it's the stimulation to the front of your body that doesn't have a sexual component. Your body, if you're sexually aroused, will not produce oxytocin. And it's the, not rubbing getting a back rub, it's the front of your body. And the uh, sixth thing is having a sense of, not only sense, living a communal life. That you're part of where you live and you're contributing and you're feeling that others contributing and you're concerned and your life has meaning. And your brain, could, you could be 110 and your brain would still grow with all six of those things. That is so interesting because our, in business world, it is so not acceptable to touch somebody. Right. I touch it, you know, but I know a lot of it, you don't touch it. And uh, that's a nice thing when you get older. <laughs> get but look at the societies that are huggers. Pardon? Look at the societies yeah, that I, people hug each other. You, you have to like the hug shaking. Italian. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, some people you cannot even put the a hand on the shoulder. No. Because yeah. I remember when I was when I was in New York for a few years, and I had moved to California and I went back for a visit, no, we did and I gave somebody a hug and they looked at me like I was dangerous. <laughs> and and how, California, everybody was hugging each other. And, and in Israel, when I was living there, or in Georgia, Europe, everybody was hugging themselves. Oh, yes, and when, yeah. everywhere I lived, people were hugging themselves. It was only in America that I noticed people weren't hugging themselves. Yeah, it feels good to have. Not me, though. I mean, your body's releasing oxytocin. Oh, yeah, it does feel good. A handshake or the, 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 the energy. It's the front of the body. Oh, yeah, sure. That's where, that's where the oxytocin comes mm -hmm. from. And that gives you a sense of belonging. It also gives you a sense of timelessness. Mm -hmm. You get hungry, you're not so stressed out about the clock, right? Mm -hmm. I, I think it works. You can't get enough hugs. Mm -hmm. And why do you think people go get massage and stuff in their life? Then, yeah. They're getting touched. But the interesting thing is, from an evolutionary standpoint, it's um, it came about that it's not sexual. So. I can tell you my my made up story is I think it was the mammalian mother who uh, when everything everybody was eating everything was eating everything and she wanted to protect her children to bond with her children she would because um, uh, oxytocin is produced when in lactation and birthing process mm -hmm. so it's also produced from the nurture. So but what interesting vasopressin that raises your blood pressure to, to ward off an attacker is only two molecules different than oxytocin. So the, the, the way I visualized this when I learned it is some mother getting ferocious when somebody was trying to eat her children. This is an easy conversion. But the same thing lives on in us. So you get people who are not getting hugged that don't have, are alone and lonely and freaked out um, walking around with high blood pressure. They feel like they have to defend themselves all the time. Because when you're getting enough oxytocin, you're communing with everything. You feel you're part of nature, your flowers are talking to you, the trees are talking to you. Literally, mm -hmm. people in love. But as soon as it gets sexual, it's gone. Mm -hmm. 